Hi everyone, Bea here, and in this video we're going to talk about alternatives to Photoshop. Not just any alternatives, but free alternatives to Photoshop. Probably most of you already know Photoshop and must have used Photoshop at least once, but just in case you're a newbie, Adobe Photoshop is the most popular image editing software. This app is very popular among photographers, graphic artists, web designers, and other professionals that need to edit images. It's an advanced tool, very powerful, that allows you to enhance images, to create project layouts, to add filters and even create new graphics and much more. You can do so many things with Photoshop, but it also has some cons, like it's a paid software. I think the cheapest pack that you can find in Adobe is $9.99 a month. And I think this price also includes Lightroom. And as it's an advanced app, it has so many tools that it can be a bit overwhelming at the beginning when you're learning how to use Photoshop. So I have some other free options to show you. If you just need to crop, resize, make just just little twitches to an image or make an easy and nice looking composition and also you're looking for something free, then this video is for you. You might want to stay because you're going to like what I'm going to show you. Photopea is a web app so you don't have to download anything. At a first look, you can see that the interface is pretty similar to Photoshop. So in my opinion, if you've already used Photoshop before, then Photopea will be pretty easy for you. A great thing is that it opened lots of formats like PSD, XD, Sketch, XCF, RAW, JPEG, GIF, TIFF and SVGs. If you need a little bit of help to learn how to use this, on their site you can find tutorials. And the first thing that you can see when you open Photopea is that you can create a new project or you can open from your computer or open one of their demos, which is a PSD or a sketch file. One thing that I love about Photopea is that I can open a file from my computer or I can open from a URL. So. I don't need to download the the file, the image. So I'm, I just open, I have an image here from, from Unsplash. I'm just going to copy the URL and I'm going to bring it here to Photopea and click OK. It loads and you got it. So now you can start editing. I'm going to use the crop tool. And as you see, this is pretty similar to Photoshop. If I double click, it also, it has a layers panel too. So I'm going to open a new layer. Sorry, my camera is covering most, most of them, but let's change some levels. Okay. Add a new one and let's say, add some contrast. Great. Let's add some text. So this font is selected. I'm going to bring up the size a little bit. I think you guys can tell that I miss summer right now. My city is pretty cold right now. And wait, I want to change the font. So I'm just going to double click and use a different one got a lot of fonts over here so let's choose okay this is great change the color wait a bit more yellow maybe and okay there you go now I'm going to create a frame, uh, same color as I've used here in summer. So I think first thing I'm going to select this and copy the hex code, copy it, click on OK and um, no fill and stroke. Let's add the hex code, click on OK. Let's see what happens. There you go. 
Uh, let's select the text again. I want to make it a big, bigger. Not that that big. I think this is okay. And if you want to save the file, just go to File, Save as PSD, or Export as all these formats over here. So I'm going to choose JPEG, the width and the height, and quality. I think this is okay. Just click on Save, and I got it there. Download it. Pixlr runs on your browser and they also have a mobile app so you can edit images on the go from your mobile phone. Pixlr has several apps but in this tutorial I'm just going to talk about Pixlr Photo Editor. It might seem a bit less intuitive than Photopea but it is a powerful tool. It supports JPEG, PNG, BMP, TIFF and their own format which is PXD. I've opened an image from my computer but you also have the option to open from a URL. First thing I want to do is I'm just going to move this a bit to the right. So I get my layers panel, my history, and I have this other one here, which is a promotion that I'm going to close. And same thing here. Let's do some cropping. For example, let's crop over here. Great that I can wait. Sorry, I'm going to crop again because I want to see if I can adjust it. Yes. Okay, great. Let's double click. I'm going to add a gradient layer. So let's open this and add a gradient. Say this one over here. I'm going to change this color. Okay, and I'm going to copy the code, sorry. So far, what I can say is that if you're also familiar with Photoshop, then this is going to be pretty similar too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer on top, apply the gradient, select this, and here I'm going to bring down the opacity a little bit. Okay. So it basically has what you need and whenever you want, just go click on save and choose the format. GIMP might already sound familiar to you. It's been around for a while. It's the most popular free image editing software. Unlike Photopea and Pixlr, you must download GIMP. You can do this from their site and it's available for Linux, Windows, and Mac. The interface is different from what we've seen right now, also not only from Photopea and Pixlr, but also from Photoshop. So it will take you a bit longer to figure out things and how the tools work, but be patient, you'll get there. It supports common file formats like JPEGs, PNG, TIFFs, GIFs, and also supports special use formats. And this is how GIMP looks. So as you see right behind me, we have something a bit more familiar, the layers panel, and also we got channels and paths. Some things might be a bit hard to identify at the beginning. And up here, brushes, patterns, fonts. And over here we have the tools. Some of them, the icons are different from the other apps, but others are pretty similar. So that's why when I mean that it will take you a while to figure out things, I mean this, but you'll get to it. Don't worry, you will. So I think that this is the, yeah, this is the crop tool. So I'm just going to make a, this just something easy. Okay, I'm just going to crop this and see how difficult it is, which is pretty easy. <laughs> I'm going to create a new layer on top. Just click on, okay, I'm sorry, my camera's covering most of it. I'm gonna use the, and I'm going to use the bucket to fill it with a color. So let's say this one is okay. Just click on. Okay. And so I just want to bring down the opacity of this layer. Okay, so okay. you can also drag this bar over here and play around a little bit. 
I warned you, I told you you were going to like what you were about to see. So if you like this video, click on the like button and also share your comments with us. Have you used these programs before and do you know any other that you want to share with us? And remember to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified whenever another video, another cool video like this one is out. Thank you guys for watching.